Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Live at 11. This is Carly here today, uh, closing out our week on Friday. I hope that it's uh, it turns out to be a little better weather later on today. But uh, hi, and um, and I really love the rain. I've always loved when it's rainy because that always feels like a day where I get to like rest and watch movies. So uh, I hope that you guys get to enjoy a little bit of peace and some rest later on today. I wanted to share a little bit uh, with you about something kind of um, that's been been brewing up in my life over this last year. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today about extravagance. I had, uh, in February, I had the privilege to go on a mission trip with Thrive to Puerto Rico. This is the second time that I've gone. And uh, I really loved being there and being with the churches that our partnership loves with and, and works with. And uh, I almost didn't go <laughs> because uh, I was getting really uh, close to the end of when we had to leave. And I still wasn't fully funded for my trip. And uh, one, one thing that I really had felt deeply was that I was supposed to help someone else with their trip too. And so uh, I was crowdsourcing my, my funding for my trip. And uh, it was about a week before we were supposed to go. And uh, out of the blue, I got a notification from Facebook, from my Facebook donations page. And uh, it was from a donor who uh, sent me all the money that I needed to go with on my trip. And I had collected money before that. And so uh, it really came as quite of a quite a shock uh, to the point that I was concerned that they had, you know, added an extra zero, added maybe a couple extra zeros that there wasn't supposed to be there. So I called them and I said, uh, I said, hey, thank you for donating. I think that Facebook might have taken too much out of your account and I'm not sure how to get that back to you. And uh, this person said, no, no, they didn't. We want to pay for your <laughs> trip. And I was floored. I totally bowled over, completely, uh, completely floored. And I, I hadn't felt uh, that kind of extravagance um, it was really, really powerful. Uh, so much so to the point that the very next phone call I made was to another person on our team and I was able to pay into their trip too. So it was really exciting to be able to do that. The, the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about extravagance today is because I think that we are in a really unique place as Christians and in the world that we're in right, right now because uh, what I think is so uh, cool and so um, important about the life that we have in Christ is that we get to carry that extravagance in our bones and with us wherever we go. And it's because of our relationship with Jesus, because of the fullness of that relationship with Jesus, that we get to carry a bit of heaven's extravagance with us wherever we are. And we have the opportunity to pour that out into the people around us. And that can be in so many different ways. It doesn't have to be what we usually think of as monetary extravagance. It can be extravagance of helps. It can be extravagance of kindness. It can be a handwritten note that's edifying to someone. Uh, I love that about how Jesus works in our relationships and works with our giftings that helps us to be really extravagant to the people around us. And I think that that's because of his fullness. John 1 16, this is the amplified version says, for out of his fullness, the super abundance of his grace and truth, we have all received grace upon grace, blessing upon blessing, favor upon favor, and gift heaped upon gift. That's what we receive just because we are Christian, just because we follow Christ. And I think that where we are right now in the world is a very unique place. And I want to I want to say that again, because we are in the world 
but as Christians, we are not of the world. And the world right now is totally backwards and upside down. We have, we still don't know how health is going to continue. We, we still don't know um, what is going to happen with our laws regarding systemic racism. We still don't we still have uh, aggressively polarized political stances right now in our communities and sometimes even in our homes, our households. And, and all of those things are of this world. But what I think is so beautiful about God's extravagant love for us is that we are not of this world. <laughs> We're of heaven. We, our citizenship is there. And so being in this world, we have the opportunity to pour out that extravagance of heaven on the people around us. So I want to encourage you guys. This is your call to action. I want to encourage you guys to stop for a moment this weekend and to think, what, where can I see that extravagance? It's there. It's in your life. Where, where is it, God? Where do you pour out into me? And then take it with open hands and give it right back out to someone in your life. Grace upon grace. Keep a grace for yourself. Give a grace away. Blessing upon blessing. Take that blessing for yourself and give one away. Be extravagant with the people in your life. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be monetary. It can be anything. But the goal is to take a little bit of that heaven you receive and keep giving it out. The world needs it. They need to see that mirror of God. They need to see that mirror of Christ reflected in you because you have a unique gift that only you can give. And it's so important to give it right now. So as you're thinking on that and as you're challenging yourself in that and as you're connecting with God in that, please, I would like to pray over you and receive this prayer as an extravagant blessing on your life. This here is from uh, Ephesians. And, uh, excuse me, it's from Ephesians, and I'm using the Passion Translation. So I'm just going to pray here real quick to close out the this week's Live at 11. But really, I, I want you to feel so blessed and so empowered to use your gifts to be extravagant with our people around us. So I pray that he would pour out over you the unlimited riches of his grace and favor until supernatural strength floods your innermost being with his divine might and explosive power. Then, by constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep inside of you, and the resting place of his love will become the very source and root of your life, providing you with a secure foundation that grows and grows. Then as your spiritual strength increases, you will be empowered to discover what every holy one experiences, the great magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all of its dimensions. How deeply intimate and far-reaching is his love. How enduring and inclusive it is. Endless love beyond measurement that transcends our understanding this extravagant love pours into you until you are filled to overflowing with the fullness of God. I pray this over you in Jesus' name, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Be extravagant, friends.